In this video, I'd like to introduce a new resource which has been made by the Royal Academy of Engineering. It's called Power Up, and you can find it on their STEM resources website, where there's a student guide that you can download, as well as a short teacher guide that has all the answers inside it. Now, this is a great resource for students in Key Stage 3. It looks at energy stores and transfers, it looks at power, and also ways that we generate our electricity. And it's something that could be done in a STEM club at school, or also the students could have a go at at home. Inside the resource, it starts by looking at different energy stores and transfers of everyday objects, which is work that your students will be familiar with from their science lessons. It then goes on to a really nice activity with an energy circuit. Now, in the school, you might be able to set this up using real life examples, but even at home, students will have things like lamps and torches, as well as wind up toys. And that means they can actually bring this science to life to think about how energy is stored and then transferred from one store to another. It also links up quite nicely with careers and engineering and there's a great task where students can have a look at some images and try and identify some of the energy stores and transfers in these different careers that real engineers actually take part in. The next activity is brilliant for your students to get involved with and it's making a Rube Goldberg experiment. This is something which does something very very simple in a really really complicated way and there are some fantastic videos on YouTube of people who've made their own ones at home. So this is not only considering the different energy stores and transfers, but it's a great chance for your students to get hands-on experience about making something actually work. And even at home, they could do this around the house using everyday objects and make a short video or take some photos to show what they've actually achieved. The next part of the resource looks at the energy demands of society and how we actually generate electricity. So there's some information about global access to electricity. There's some information about how we actually generate this in power stations. And then there's also a really nice task which introduces some more complicated mathematics. So this is looking at the rate of energy transfer, which is the power. The last part of the guide looks at different ways that we currently generate electricity, as well as some of the future technology which has been developed by engineers. So this includes solar power, where there's a nice task where the students can do some calculations, including area and perimeter. And also they can have a go at making their own wind turbine. So this is something that the students could complete at home just using things like straws, string and paper clips. And what they could do is they could maybe design their own wind turbine. They could test it using a hairdryer held at a certain distance and they could experiment with blade design or the number of blades to see which is the most effective design at picking up a certain number of paper clips. So again, this is something that your students could experiment with at home using readily available and cheap resources. So that is just a quick summary of Power Up by the Royal Academy of Engineering. It's really topical, it has some great curriculum links to the work that your students are currently doing. And also there's a lot of tasks which could be done outside of the classroom at home, including making their own wind turbine or making their own Rube Goldberg machine. If you would like to find out more information about this or any other resources that the Royal Academy of Engineering have put out recently, please have a look at the STEM resources page. Thank you.